just is, where am I? So, you know, if you don't want to reveal that to others, it's just through, I put posters around in the space. You've got your hand out. So you can just start practicing, where am I? And let it be fine that you are wherever you are. It doesn't mean anything. What's today's Saturday, right? So just say out loud, today's Saturday. Today's Saturday. Okay? And I go below the line. It's just what happens, <laughs> right? Right, yeah. So it doesn't mean anything. Now the ego or the identity is gonna to wanna to make it mean something, you know, right? And usually you're gonna start wanting to see a comparison here and above the line is good and below the line is bad. Um, that's what we do. Minds like to come put things into categories. But what I wanna say is there's a lot of value to being below the line. We go below the line because we are longing for connection, because it's entertaining, because... <laughs> because we don't have to feel some of those emotions that feel really threatening to feel, especially in a workplace setting that feels like you're gonna you know, make up stories about my lack of professionalism. Um, it might be that I go below the line because if I came up above the line, I might say some authentic things, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my job. There's good reasons why people go below the line. It's, it's not a bad thing. And there are so many wonderful payoffs, it's just great to be able to know, as long as I'm below the line, in a little bit of closed and triggered, the challenge with that is I'm likely not going to innovate myself out of recurring patterns, okay? And so one of the things that happens is we see, when I go into organizations, they go, yeah, we have this issue with silos, you know, there's this us and them thing. I don't know if any of you have any of that going on, <laughs> right? And, I, and they're talking about it and talking about it and talking about it, but the conversation is happening from below the line. Right? So as long as we're talking about it from below the line, we're not going to resolve the issue permanently. And so one of the things that I'm supporting organizations and teams with is, first of all, can we locate ourselves? Secondly, can we let it be okay that we're scared? You know, we all want us to be successful here. We get scared, we get triggered, so what? Can we love that about ourselves? And um, compassion's a big one, and luckily you've got a, we've got a talk on compassion coming up here. Um, and so then the next question is, would I be willing to shift? So if you turn your hand out over, there are willingness questions. These are all questions that would help you see, would I be willing in the moment when I'm in that closed and restricted place, I go through these questions to find out if I'm willing to open, if I'm willing to come back into curiosity, if I'm willing to reveal versus conceal, if I'm willing to move into appreciation versus resentment, all of these different uh, questions can help you bring some awareness to whether you're willing or not. And if you're not, you can just let yourself say, in this moment, I'm not. I'm still triggered, or I'm still reactive, I still feel scared, and then there's ways we can work with that. But to be able to be honest and know where you're at is the first option.